Now, there's no doubt that COVID has changed the way we work. With each enforced lockdown, many people moved to working remotely from home. Now, as we emerge from the pandemic, businesses are looking at the economic benefits of hybrid working for their employees. Well, Bloomberg's Libby Cherry joins us now. Libby, you wrote this fantastic piece, which is actually our big take today, our big read, which I urge everyone to go and read it. So companies are now trying to entice workers back into the office. What would an economist say to an employee or an employer or a manager desperate to get their staff back? Well, I think they would say, don't rush to get your workers in five days a week. Um, one of the studies that we looked at showed there could be a 5% increase in productivity relative to pre-pandemic levels just from having the shift to hybrid working. So a lot of that comes down to safe commuting time, but there's other things as well. So a lot of um, employees reported that they were more productive at home for more focused tasks. And another thing I would note, if you're an employer, is that you might have access to wider pools of employees um, if you offer this flexibility. I'm thinking working mothers, um, people who live outside of economic centers, and potentially older workers as well. I mean, this was one of the concerns, like when people work from home, you don't have time for chit chat, right? So you don't find yourself at like the Kool-Aid moment or you kind of <laughs> have that interaction a little bit less, which I know a lot of people also miss. How does this change actually working habits and how does that, you know, reshape our economy? Well, of course, yes. Yeah. So we're already seeing some of the impacts kind of in the wider economy. I mean, just look outside at the city centre. We're seeing sort of lower levels of footfall. Have a look at the Bloomberg Pret Index, for instance. You know, it's it's well below pre-pandemic levels of coffee sales. Um, but those spending patterns are shifting to the suburbs. And we're also seeing a whole ecosystem of innovation that's come out of hybrid working whether that be like shops that have adopted e-commerce for the first time, um, and they're tapping into new customers. You know, they're no longer reliant on people just walking past their shop fronts. Um, I mean, to be sure, there will be some economic pain coming out of this. Um, and I think a lot of companies and city centres at the moment are kind of in a watch, a wait and see kind of moment for what, what it will be like when people come back from their holidays. So if you see, uh, you know, what does the boost in productivity, um, why is it such a big deal for the economy? I mean, this was like the puzzle, right? It's like, yeah, for, I, what is it, like five years we've been talking about productivity and why it's been so low? Yeah, well, this is the thing. So, I mean, if we're just looking at the UK, for instance, in 2019, um, we were lagging our pre-financial crisis trend for productivity by around 15%. So it wasn't great even before the pandemic. Um, and COVID has been this catalyst, you know, we've never seen anything like it, um, companies being forced to innovate and so on. So while hybrid working in itself might not fix all our productivity problems, I think a lot of economists will be watching it closely for the kind of efficiency gains if, as, you know, we begin to come out of the pandemic. I mean, it's such a, it's an amazing, I mean, how much does it increase productivity? So if you work from home, do you actually have the data of, am I like 12% more productive on a good day or 5% more productive? <laughs> well, um, I think a lot of it comes down to the task. But if we just look at the, you know, the proportion you know, the vast majority of, you know, what workers who are in sort of knowledge-based jobs are definitely thinking about hybrid working going forward. Okay, so. don't think about it. I'm not productive at home. Just to make <laughs> that very clear, Libby, thank you so much. For